Hello and welcome to Infinity. In a previous video I showed five useful new shortcut keys you can add. Here's five more. So let's go straight to it. Edit and Preferences and then the key forward shortcuts here shows you what you can do. So I'll put that on and what I'm going to go to is I'm going to put in the info panel Normally for the info panel you have to go to view, studio and down to info panel here each time you want to turn it on or off. Um, however, a simple way of doing this is to go to photo. You don't go to view here, which is the trick. You go all the way down to the bottom to miscellaneous for some reason. But anyway, we go down here, look in here for toggling. There it is, toggle info panel. So I click in there and I use Shift I, which is available. And then if I go back out to here, Shift I brings up the info panel. And when I move around, if you watch these here, it shows that under the cursor what the RGB is or the CMYK here. And you can add more. You can even take this little thing here, drag it to somewhere and look at the colours there and use it to set white balance to adjust colours and so on. So it's quite a useful little tool. When you Before you shut it down, don't leave it on this little circle because you end up with that little red thing still there. So click outside that. And you can get rid of it with the X here as well, but you can also use it to do the shift I again. So you can toggle on and off quite easily. Whilst we're in here, let's do two more. And those, those are the library panel and the macro panel. Uh, and this is for both. They're both about running macros and they, they're useful. If you know about macros, fine. I'm going to do another one. But whilst you're here, I just do Control Shift L for library and then Control Shift M for macro. So I can then turn on the library and look at the macros I've got available here and click on those to run them and control shift M to see the macro itself and the steps within it and to be able to step through it. But then control shift M and L to turn those back off again. Something else, let's just turn this off for a moment to show this, which is really useful. If you're doing a selection and it, it says something like a tonal range, you're selecting shadows. And you do this a lot with like luminosity masking. There's dots all over the place here, there's marching ants. And if you make an adjustment, it's very difficult to see exactly what is being changed. But you, there, there is a trick here, which is if you go to view and show pixel selection, you can turn that off. And then if I put in a curves, I can just change those areas, which is really handy. But then I've got to go back up again up here to view, show pixel selection. So it's, a, it's nice to be able to turn those on and off quickly because it's a really handy thing to be able to do. So if we go to Edit, Preferences, and this is in the expected place, Keyboard Shortcuts, Photo, View, and down somewhere here, look for, where is it? It's in here. Or was it show pixel selection? There it is, that one. And for show pixel selection, I use Control H. I think it's a standard in Photoshop as well. So now if I just click outside there and then do Control H, the R turns it on and off. So that's Control D that's to get rid of it altogether. And get rid of those curves as well. There we go. What else do you want to do? One more, one more. So to make it up to five, there's one I put in which is very useful which is just to turn on the Gaussian Blur. Normally, if I use the things down here to put in the adjustments, but you can go via the layer. So if I go to New Live Filter Layer to Blur here, it shows me all these. If you go to the Adjustment Layer, you can see here there are some which are already here. So Levels is Control L, Curves is Control M and so on. So it'd be nice to have one for the Blur because it's just used a lot. So I'll go to Photo, where is it up here? Layer. Then a new, I'm going to go to the new one. I'm not going to go to the filters blur. I'm going to have the uh, the dynamic filter here. So new. Where is it? Live filter layer. Gaussian blur. There. 
Will Control G work? No, we've got that little yellow triangle there that says I can't use that. How about Shift G? There you go, that's allowed. So now if I wanted to put a blur onto that, if I can turn this off, I'd hit uh, Shift G and up comes, there we go, there's the blur and I can blur away to my heart's content and so on. So there we go, five new shortcut keys, some of them particularly useful, others and I use them all quite a lot. And you can add your own, of course, once you know how to do it, dead easy. And here we go, here are the summaries of those. So if you just press pause and you can take those down and hopefully those will be okay. Um, it's a quick way to make notes. Anyway, there we go and thank you very much for watching.